Hey, what's up guys? Joshua Casper back at you with a fairly quick video. I just want to touch on the EQ inside of Nectar 3. It's incredible, okay? And Nectar 3 is generally for vocals, but you can use this EQ obviously anywhere you want and it works the same way. And I hope they just make a standalone EQ version that's a little bit cheaper than, you know, having to buy the entire Nectar 3 suite to get at it. So what this is, is a dynamic EQ that has two different types of dynamic actions inside of it. It has a dynamic gain, which you can either expand or compress uh, any frequency range. And it also has a frequency follower. Uh, we're gonna talk about both of them right now. And they're both absolutely phenomenal. If you saw here in the beginning, Show your love to me. I've got some frequency positions here that are moving with the harmonics of the actual vocal here. So the way this works, if I go ahead and just X out of here, let's put another one in, EQ, let's bring it over here in front of the compressor. The big thing that I really, really like and kind of drew my attention to this right off the bat was the ability to roll off the rumbly low end of anything by following the first harmonic of that thing. So inside of this vocal here, I can take the high pass or low cut filter here, click here, and just click frequency. And now this frequency cut off or this roll off right here will follow the lowest harmonic of the vocal. So if I play the vocal, Show your love to me. do you see how it's moving along with that fundamental note? And if we want it to be a little bit more steep where we're not cutting off any of that fundamental, we just need to change the Q value. So make it really steep like 48 dB. You can do that by clicking here. You can also uh, hover over the node and use your mouse wheel. And or in one final way to do it would be clicking here and typing in 48. Show your love to me. So right now it's too close. Because of where the starting point is right here, it's actually completely cutting off that fundamental note. So if I just pull this over here, you see that that jump there? Show your love to me. Now it's not cutting off that note, it's allowing it to pass. And this thing is really intelligent and really smooth. So if I take this second one here and boost it, come over and do frequency. Show your love to me. You can see that it's actually boosting the third. So if I take it and pull it over until it hops over, and now it's gonna be boosting that second harmonic. Show your love to me. Is that not dope? And that works the same way if I add another point and do a reduction here. And then again, go to frequency and just move it over until it's close to maybe the third. Show your love. Oh, it's way over. Show your love to me. So you can imagine if you have like a resonant frequency inside of an instrument or a vocal that you always want to get rid of and you want to do it very precisely, this EQ is perfect for that. This is the first time I've seen this type of EQ inside of an Isotope product. The only other one that I know off the top of my head is Sound Radix uh, Surfer EQ has the same sort of technology that follows the actual harmonic frequency instead of just doing like the stereotypical dynamic EQ, which is just reducing when a sound is loud, it reduces that sound, or when the sound is loud, it expands that sound using the expand module. And we could do that for something like here, over here in the high pass, I want it to be a dynamic for the gain, just click it, and I want it to expand it. Look at this. Show your love to me. Don't leave me here alone. You see how much that changes the vocal? Show your heart. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because this is super incredible. Obviously, I'm just showing you how it works and talking a little bit about it in a conceptual way. I'm not actually mixing anything right now. 
but I hope you get the idea of how awesome this is and how much more precise you can be in surgical. You know, there's no reason just to cut a big frequency range just to get rid of one thing. And when it's actually a, like a harmonic resonant frequency that's moving with the pitch of the actual instrument or the vocal, you know, you're really doing a butcher job if you're just putting in, you know, one frequency dip right here. Like if this was static, you know, it didn't move with the harmonic, we'd be cutting it at sometimes and not cutting it other times. And it's just ridiculous. You know, it's 2018. I'm super pumped that it's inside of here. And as I said before, I'll be using this EQ on a lot more than just vocals. And I really hope that they make a standalone version of it, you know, even a free download or something. That's probably going too far, but something not as expensive as getting the entire suite here because it's just so powerful and so dope. And it's just so, so useful. Anyway, I wanted to share with you, I'm going to leave links to Nectar 3 in the video description if you want to check it out. I'm Joshua Casper. I'll see you in the next video.